So, we went over hamstring compression using the foot in the previous video. And we add that additional element, which we went from foot to the outside. You're leaning, tractioning the receiver's hamstring onto your foot. Then the foot turns to the inside and rolls open. And I position myself so that there's a comfortable movement there. I can press into the foot and vice versa. Then you have the foot about three quarters of the way up. The other foot will come to meet it and the receiver's foot will cross over. You can see that she gets a little bit of a bend in the ankle. So what I'm going to do is reposition myself just to make it work. That feels better. It doesn't feel like I'm torquing her ankle. And then I grab onto the thigh, and I'm pulling the thigh onto my feet. You'll notice that I've opened my knees so that I can reach through to grab hold, and I gently rock. I back out, I'm going to support the receiver's knee, and traction again. And to the opposite side. And again, I do change the speed and pacing for these video series. Make it a little bit faster just to demonstrate the motions that we're making to make sure it's clear to you at home. These are wonderful for anyone with low back pain. I recommend you try them out see what people think. Then, foot is about three quarters up the thigh. The other foot comes to meet it. Then you cross over. And again, she gets a little bit of a torque in the ankle. So I'm just going to reposition. You notice I backed my feet out. I scoot in. And rock. Traction. Pull the thigh onto your feet. showed an additional compression that can be used for the receiver's hamstrings, the back of their thigh. I'm going to add to that today. So you'll remember that we started out with our foot to the outside and you traction several times. As we're shooting these videos, keep in mind that I'm going through uh, the movements the postures rapidly. When I'm actually giving a session, it tends to be a little more slow, depends on the client I'm working with, but for demonstration purposes, I shorten it. Then the foot goes to the inside. I'm going to position the receiver's leg on mine so that I've got this little handle here that I can grab onto the heel. You're pressing into the thigh with the foot. Not the heel, not the ball of the foot, just flat. Then I'm going to have my left foot about three quarters of the way up the thigh. I'm going to place my right foot next to it, and the receiver's foot is going to cross over my shin. I feel a little bit of tension and pressure from her foot pushing there, so I'm going to move up and position my bottom so I can still have the feet pressing into the back of the leg so that my knees are bent and then when my knees open I can reach onto the thigh and get a little traction here, a little pull. Everyone is going to feel slightly different depending on their hip structure, their body dynamics. So my feet are still pushing into the leg, and I'm compressing the thigh, while also engaging a little rotation into the hip. And I'll come out again. And yet again, remember we 
start out with the foot to the outside, traction into the hamstrings. Foot goes to the inside, thigh of the muscle, press into with the foot, back of the thigh, the hamstring. Then, about three quarters of the way up the thigh, the left foot will come to meet it, the legs will cross. Uh, you'll notice that I reposition my feet. I'm just doing that based on my client. Uh, the receiver to make sure that they feel comfortable. If again, if not, uh, they may feel some pressure, a little bit of torque in their knee or their ankle that they don't want. But it's supposed to feel right. If it doesn't feel right to you as a practitioner, it probably doesn't feel as good to them as a receiver. Just keep in mind. So, reposition. My feet are still pressing in. And I can lean. Uh, nothing extreme, just some gentle rocking. Feels nice, that's why we do it. And again, I'll back out.